Corrado T135 demonstration. The control panel just above the habitation door. Simply, these are all touch buttons. Touch that, the van's off. The van's on. See the green lights lighting up here. This light here, once you're plugged into the mains, this will light up. I'm not plugged in at the minute, so that's why it's not plugged in or lit up, sorry. Uh, here you have your leisure battery levels, fresh water level and waste. So if you press the top one, it shows that your battery is 2.3 volts. Once you plug in, that will go right up to 13.5 volts. This is for your fresh water, your 75% full. And this is for your waste, which shows nothing because it's empty. So that's your control panel. Your fridge has three modes. You have electric, leisure battery and gas. Um, to change these modes, press on this metal button and to see the icons flashing. You see the gas, that one flashing. You can scroll back and forth into which one you want using arrows. So you scroll. Uh, I'm not plugged in at the minute, so the electric won't work. Leisure battery. The leisure battery mode will only work when the engine is running. That's just used for travelling purposes, purposes between campsites. And so she selected gas by herself because that was the only power support supply she could find. So once that's flashing, once you scroll through what you want, so we'll go on to gas, press the middle button again, you'll see now your level, your temperature levels will flash, press again, and that's you set on whatever mode, whatever mode you want on then. So we'll just press the middle button, with the flashes, scroll to whatever option you want, press the button again, and press the button again. To open this fridge, we catch here, press down and pull. The heating and hot water is down behind the living area. So simply to turn on the heating, press this metal button. It's also a wee scroll button, which you can go back and forth. Press it in. You'll see this first icon flashing is for your heating of the van. So, click on your metal button again, and that lets you into the heating mode. So at the moment it's off, so you scroll to whatever temperature you want. Click on it. You scroll over to this icon here where you see the gas bottle and electric. Click on it again. You can have choices between gas, gas and electric. Gas and electric too. There's two elements in the heating system for electric, one and two. Uh, obviously two is the strongest. Um, the mixture of gas and electric is very slow, so if you just want a quick heat, gas is the way to go. Um, so you have element electric one and element electric two. So if you want gas, click on the gas. Over here is your fan controls the speed of your fan so click on scroll to your fan click on it you have eco high and there's a boost at, at certain temperatures a boost option comes up so if you want high click on that and that's your heating working on gas if you haven't got no icons above this line here you're doing nothing so always make sure to click on the button to confirm what mode you want on so for the warm water, is this icon. Um, click on it. That's off at the minute. You have eco, high, and boost. Click on it, whatever option you want. And it's the same thing again. Click on your gas or electric mode, whatever which one you want. So at the minute now, I have the van heating on gas and the hot water on gas. That's the wee gas bottle here at the top. You, have no, you don't need to set the fan if you just want hot water. So to turn it off, click into your heating. This is your heating. 
that's that off scroll to your warm water and that's you totally off your gas hobs just the same as at home you will need a sparker or a match simply push the knob down turn light your gas let go and that's it as I say you will need a wee sparker or a match to light these rings your oven just below the sink oven and grill you have a Sparker on the oven grill, so no need for your own to light the oven. Hold on, press the sparker, and you can see the oven's lit. And the grill is the same. Now, there's a safety feature in this grill you have to leave the door open where the grill is operating. Once you close the door, if the door closes, the grill goes out. So if you watch the flame, you see the flame going out. That's a safety option. Now your TV is underneath the cabinet. You simply just push up and pull down. You can then position it to any position you want. You might have to take the headrest off of this TV as it's quite big. Um, it's very hard for me to adjust it by holding with one hand. Your TV aerial, the booster, is just inside the locker here. You may have to reach in this TV to every campsite that you go to. Um, you can do that through the remote control. For a single bed at the front of the camper, your table can lower. There's a rail just below that. It clicks on the same as the top. The leg has a knuckle joint on it. If you press on that wee black button, the leg folds up underneath itself. You can then bring down the cushions to the middle. And this cushion here comes down into this position. And that makes up a single bed. You can swing around the passenger seat for the extra space. The table then just lift, just, uh, lift it up and put it back up into the top position when necessary. Outside the van, let's uh, recollect in your mains power. Um, there's vents for your fridge. Uh, because it's gas, you have to have a vent. Your toilet is set. Um, just lift up this lever and the thing pulls out. Now to empty this, simply go to your nearest gully, unscrew this cap and empty the contents into the gully or camp and toilet, whatever's closest. So just push back in again, the clicks into place. So always remember to lift the wee green lever. Your garage, just underneath the rear bed. The black boxers, your jack, wheel brace and so forth. That's carpets for the middle of the van. This wee bio here. That is your exhaust for your gas heating. Your gas locker is here. To turn on and off your gas, simply this knob here, simply turn it clockwise, turns off the gas. And to turn it on, turn it anti clockwise. To change your gas, this holds, simply loosen this nut here. Now, this nut is left hand thread, so it's opposite to what you used before. So instead of left to Lucy, it's right, Lucy, and then the opposite. So this is left hand thread. And there's a spanner there to do the job. 
This is where you fill your van with fresh water. Simply just put a garden hose into it and fill away. Before you fill your fresh water tank, um, it's underneath the living area. You have to lift the cushions. But the black knob here, that's your tap for your fresh water tank. So make sure that's closed. So turn that clockwise to, to uh, close it and to open it, turn it anti clockwise. Be very careful, it only needs a few wee turns and it opens up. These are very easily broke, so try not to over tighten. And just a few turns anti clockwise to open it, otherwise, it can come out of position in the bottom of the tank. Um, we would recommend during the winter, if the van is sitting up, to drain the whole van off fresh water. So simply unscrew this a few turns, let the water drain out. Once that's done, operate your taps, you'll hear the pump running, and that will empty the pipes of water. You can then blow on through the taps if necessary to blow the water back. You also have a fresh frost valve on the heating system on the boiler. When refilling this here system, make sure this valve is closed. So do you see the wee blue diamond shaped button? That turns. So if I get my hand in here. Once you turn that, there's a wee button by the side pops out, so I'll just put my hand on and I'll show you. It's hard to see, but you see the wee button at the side just has popped out. That drains your boiler of water, the hot water boiler. Now to close that, simply turn the top knob closed again and push in the wee button at the side. 